Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a beautiful spring meadow and for that painting I will be using a masking marker because I do want to mask my flowers. I think that would make it easier later on but if you don't have the masking marker you can just later on use your white gouache and just mix it in with the watercolor, the color you want and get a little bit more a peg watercolor. So I will be using a masking marker and as I said I'm masking a couple of flowers and I will be painting a larger and a smaller flowers in different colors but you'll see that all later on. When finished with adding masking marker and this one dries immediately you don't have to wait any time for for drying it but also if you're using a masking fluid you can absolutely use masking fluid instead of masking marker please wait until it's dry completely after that i've prevented the entire paper and then mixed in a little bit of sepia and azure to get that grayish blue grayish color and paint in the sky as you could have seen i did not try to paint any particular clouds or anything else i did add a little bit of pigment here and there leaving some parts white and when it dries it will look beautiful and though there are some clouds in the sky also later on beneath the sky i added a little bit of this more natural green color called chromium oxide but you can use basically any green color and in the front in the foreground i've added a mix of green and olive green which are a little bit more vibrant and that is what i want in my foreground afterwards i've splattered some clean water just to make this beautiful effect with a clean water leaving some white spots where the paint just picks up from that water and then again sprinkle it with a little bit of olive green and green mix of those two colors and then with a uh, sepia i added just a lower part couple of lines going upwards mimicking some shadows in the foreground and then splattered again some mother lake red light mixed in with just a little bit of azure after that i left the paint to dry completely and then moved on to my second layer and again um you know maybe i'm whining but you know i forgot my liner brush my script brush so i'm just looking for some other brush that will do the same thing that the liner brush did but just can't do it just can't find one and i'm just still i'm quite lost with <laughs> with painting those lines now with grass but you know it will all be fine i'll learn and so i'm adding a couple of those grasses and then after that some leaves on some of the stems and those leaves i'm painting it to, like with a detail brush and i'm just pressing a little bit harder going upwards and then then just picking up the paint the paintbrush going downwards so just press with the belly of your brush when going upwards and then just pick up your brush and go downwards and that is how i paint those leaves and then i've added again a little bit of sepia downwards making some darker shadows in a in a lower part in a foreground and then when that all dried it has to be completely dry beware of that you should not pick up your masking marker or masking fluid while the paint is still dry because you're gonna just mess up your paper you're gonna you're gonna rip your paper and so just be careful to, to make sure that the entire paint the, all the paint are dry as i said after it dried i've just painted the centers of my larger flowers those are probably daisy flowers and then painted in some yellow flowers and i will switch on again later on on some pinkish flowers using mother lake red light and i think i've mixed in again a little bit of azure into that just to have some variety of flowers in my meadow Also, if you're wondering all the materials I'm using for this painting, I'll list it down in the description box, mostly with the links for those products, my affiliate links. So go ahead and check it out. You can find all the details there. 
And if you like painting landscapes and you're a beginner or maybe seascapes, flowers, there are lots and lots of tutorials on my channel. So please feel free to check it out and try to find something for yourself. I think you will most definitely do that because there are a couple of, I guess, a lot of tutorials that are quite easy and for beginners. And I guess you can maybe learn something and well, just go ahead and check it out. When finished with my flowers, and as you could have seen, I painted it quite simply. Just added the color on the spots that I left white with masking marker. I'm adding a little bit more of the details in the foreground with splatters and again some sepia just to make some more shadows. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. It does really mean a lot to me. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would definitely mean a lot to me. And you know, you could have seen right now, I've been removing masking fluid. I've ripped slightly my paper. And then I just used a little bit of water on my brush, just clean water, Go went over it and with my finger just flatten it. And it does help. It does help to, you know, if you have some ribs to fix them. So without further ado, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.